وقال الذين لا يعلمون لولا يكلم الله او تاتينا ايا and so said those who don't know anything this is also the reference to the pagan arabs who didn't have any book any scriptures laula yukallimullah why doesn't allah not speak to us how come he only spoke to moses how come he only sent his wahi to muhammad why not to us we are more important in the community we are the chieftains we are the chiefs of different houses of quraish but why didn't the wahi come to us why doesn't allah talk to us and speak to us aw taatin aaya aur bhai has not a clear sign and proof a mojiza a miracle come to us kazalika qala alladhina min qablihim these were the sayings of the people who were before them the same things were said to nu alai salatu wassalam to hud alai salatu wassalam to shuaib alai salatu wassalam to lut alai salatu wassalam all the people to whom we sent our messengers they said the same things par bayyan al ayat tashabahat qulubuhum their hearts have become similar to each other par bayyan al ayat li qaumi yuqinun we have made our ayat very clear very shining for those who have the belief who want to have conviction inna arsalna ka bil haqq bashiran wa nazira we have sent you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the truth the total truth the whole truth bil haqq bashiran wa nazira and you have two two positions two aspects bashir giver of the glad tidings to those who believe in you who believe in allah who become allah bondsman so you have to give them the good tidings wa nazira and you are the warner to those who disbelieve who don't believe in allah who don't believe in the resurrection who don't believe in you so you warn them that for them there is a very bitter and very grievous punishment waiting for them wala tusalu ala sabil jahim and you will not be questioned about the people of the fire you will not be held responsible that why didn't you they believe we have given them the choice imma shakiran wa imma kufura it's their choice whosoever wants to believe let him believe whosoever want to disbelieve let him disbelieve you can't press them you can't compel them so you are not questionable you will not be held responsible for those people who are going by their own choice to the hell wala tusalu ala ashabil jahim walan tarda ankal yahud wala nasara hatta tattabi'a millatahum and neither the jews nor the christians will be pleased with you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam till you follow them their millah what is millat millat actually is a very collective word for the practices and beliefs of a community if you don't take to their own beliefs if you don't accept their practices they are not going to be pleased with you so oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't hope don't expect that these people you know the prophet and the muslims they had the hope because these people were of the book they believed in allah they believed in so many messengers of allah they believed in resurrection they believed in the hereafter they believed in the fire of hell they believed in the paradise and heavens they believed in so many things so many things were common so it was easy for them to accept and they were expected to accept gladly but the allah subhanahu wa taala is telling him no out of jealousy out of their pride out of their haughtiness out of their arrogance they are not going to believe you rather they like they would wish that you should follow them they are the leaders of the community they they hold position so they want that you should follow them lan tarda ankal yahud wal nasara hatta tatabi'a millatahu and this is exactly what is happening today our own civilization our values these muslim fundamentalists they are challenging them we have to guard them this is the, you know the who and cry in the west so our civilization our values our culture our system our economies well these things are threatened by these muslim fundamentalists they should follow us they should present their own culture their own teachings to us walan tarda ankal yahud wal nasara hatta tatabi'a millatahum qul inna hudallahi huwal huda now 
we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gives each one of us the courage to say these words with confidence inna hudallahi huwal huda we don't believe in your values we don't believe in your culture we say it openly and loudly that the guidance is only the guidance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qul inna hudallahi huwal huda all guidance total guidance real guidance is the guidance of allah wala li tabata ahwahu and if supposedly please add this word here because these words are very bitter if o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you follow them after bada ma ja bada alladhi ja ka min al ilm after this that this knowledge has already come to you ma laka min allah min wali wala nasir then you will not be able to find for you against allah subhanahu wa taala to save you from the wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala you will find no wali no protector no guardian no helper wala nasir so this is these are very bitter words so we must add the word supposedly if supposedly oh muhammad you follow their wishes instead of this quran which has been revealed to you after this has been revealed to you then you will also become liable to punishment and you will also have nobody to to help you nobody to guard you and to save you from the punishment of allah subhanahu wa taala